So Anthony Joshua has revealed that he's been receiving advice from, Gla uh, from Vladimir Klitschko ahead of this Andy Ruiz Jr. rematch. Not a surprise because the two guys have stayed in touch uh, over the years, not just since they fought, but even prior to that when AJ was one of Klitschko's sparring partners. So they stayed in touch. The two men like each other to get along well. Unlike Lennox Lewis, AJ says that Vladimir Klitschko reaches out to him and offers him advice on a regular basis. He says Lennox Lewis never has. Okay, that's one of the issues he's had with Lennox Lewis and the way Lewis has been talking about him. But that's a side note. Let me quote Anthony Joshua here, what he says about Klitschko. He says, Klitschko said loads of stuff to me. Vlad was definitely ahead of the game. He's more disciplined than me. He's more diplomatic. He was giving me dietary and training advice. And that is maybe what people are talking about now when they see a difference in my body. Maybe that's why, because I've adapted some of his teaching. My weight may fluctuate. He goes on to say, there's nothing I've missed about being world champion. I've always said the belt should never define the man. I walked as a champion before I even had a belt. This is fighting. One loss doesn't take the spots off a cheater. We don't play games when it comes to boxing. We're serious. And after I took the loss, I've had time to reflect. I now have things to prove to myself. I want to take it more seriously because I'm going to that next level. So, taking advice from Klitschko, dietary advice and all that kind of stuff. Also, I don't know if he's taking advice with regards to psychologically recovering from a loss, but Klitschko would be the guy to get that advice from. Because, of course, Klitschko came back from devastating stoppage defeats. He was stopped by Ross Purity. He was knocked out in two rounds by Corey Sanders. He was then stopped by uh, Lamont Brewster. And at the point where he was stopped by Brewster, his own brother, Vitaly, told him to retire. So it's one thing having people on the internet or trainers, promoters, other people in boxing, even boxing fans. It's one thing having those people telling you to retire. But when your own brother, who's also a boxer, is telling you to retire, people, that's deep. <laughs> His own brother didn't think he had what it took to become you know, a, a, a long reigning world champion in boxing to succeed at the highest level. He didn't think he had what it took. So he proved even his own brother wrong in going on the title reign that he ended up going on. So he knows about what it takes to come back, the psychological scars that are left from taking defeats and all the criticism that comes with it, the self-doubt, people doubting you. I mean, he said even in his training camps, he had... Uh, opponents trying to knock him out all the time he said he noticed the difference in the attitude after he got knocked out by people like Corey Saunders and Brewster is that in the training camps people were just trying to take his head off hoping to make a name for themselves because they thought he was weak at that moment so you know he's been for it all perhaps he can advise AJ with regards to that as well I'm not saying AJ necessarily needs it but you know if he does maybe you can advise him with that and Again, the training methods and what have you. And I do have to mention, in all fairness, the fact that Luis Pabon, I've done a separate video on this, but Luis Pabon is going to be the referee for AJ versus Ruiz. And of course, Pabon infamously refereed Klitschko Povetkin, which, which was one of the most scandalous refing performances I've ever seen in my life. There is a video that you can watch on YouTube. Just, just type in Klitschko Illegal Tactics. And it is a video which will show all of the clinches that happened in the klitschko Povetkin fight. Not just clinches, but many, many times when Klitschko would throw Povetkin to the ground, where he would lean on him to such a degree that Klitschko's feet would leave the canvas because he was putting so much pressure on Povetkin's back, leaning on him. Absolutely disgraceful performance. Uh, with that being said, I've never seen AJ clinch excessively in any fight. It doesn't mean he can't start, right? <laughs> Hopefully he won't. But uh, yeah, I've never seen him implement those kind of excessive holding, illegal holding really, because when holding is excessive, it's illegal. I've never seen AJ do that before. 
So, you know, that's the fraud out there as well. And as I've said in another video, Luis Pabon may have been selected partly because he's the referee that did the Groves Callum Smith World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight Final. That was the last major boxing event in Saudi Arabia. So maybe that's why he's been brought back, or at least part of the reason. But yeah, what do you guys think? AJ getting advice from Klitschko ahead of the Ruiz rematch. Will it make the difference? Will uh, it ensure that AJ wins? Or will it be repeat? Is this a good person to take advice off? I'm sure there are going to be some of the PBC dudes out there saying, no, he needs to take advice from Lennox. I mean, I personally think he needs to take advice from Klitschko. That's what I would say. Um, I, I think advice for Klitschko more so than Lennox. He apparently has one of Lennox's team members in his team, according to the rumors, uh, Harold Shadow Knight. Don't know what Harold the Shadow Knight has been teaching him or advising him about, but it's very interesting that he's in, in the camp as well, supposedly. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm out.